Hey guys, I just wanted to show you a new feature that Sergey added to Blender. It's in SVN right now. And what it is, is it's actually kind of a, an addition to a previous feature that he added that allows you to use sculpting for shape keys. And of course, being able to use sculpting for shape keys on top of armature deforms, no less, uh, is really useful, especially for creating like facial shape keys or corrective shape keys. But the thing that you couldn't do is you could not sculpt shape keys with other shape keys active at the same time. But now you can. So let me let me demonstrate this a bit. Um, so I've got this uh, I don't know, hot dog <laughs> thing. It's not. It's just for demonstration purposes. There's there's no real point to it. Um, so let's just add some uh, add some animation to there. Okay, so we just got it doing that. It's not really interesting, but uh, well, it's good enough for our purposes. So let's go and add some shape keys, just for fun. Um, so previously you had to lock the shape key on, so or pin it on. Uh, to be able to sculpt on it. So it would, first of all, it would be 100% active, and secondly, all the other shape keys would be gone uh, while you were sculpting on it. But now, you can pretty much have it at whatever level you want, and other shape keys can be active. I'll demonstrate in a second, but let's, for example, sculpt this one at, at a active setting of uh, 0.5. And let's go into sculpt mode, make sure the, the shape key is selected. And we're in sculpt mode here. I prefer the clay brush. So I switch over to that. And we can just start smoothing this stuff out. A little bit. This is kind of a weird bulge here too, so let's uh, just work on smoothing that out a little bit. And let's get uh, get this bulging up a little bit. Uh, over here too. As these are not going to be good shape keys just for demonstration purposes. But okay, so we've got that shape key going and we can take it down and it's gone. But also you notice you can take it past 0.5. Of course that's this doesn't <laughs> this doesn't look good at all, but just <laughs> uh, so you can kind of get the idea. So this looks like it actually might look kind of ideal at around like 0.4 or so for that. So let's key that there. So I'm just going to kind of simulate as if we had hooked it up to uh, some kind of driver to trigger it in that pose. Anyway, there we go. We can see how that looks. And if we hide it, you can see the difference here. There we go. But here's the thing. So that's the first thing is you can actually sculpt it at whatever uh, kind of setting you want. In fact, now if we're like, oh, I don't like how this, this looks in this pose. There's You can sculpt on that shape key in that, uh, at that value. Uh, but the other thing we could do is we could bring in another shape key. So say bring this one up to 0.5 and uh, we're just gonna key it there and then key it at zero on kind of both sides let's say right here we didn't we don't like how this looks so we're just gonna select shape key 2 and we're just gonna start 
kind of sculpting on this a little bit just to bring it more in line with what we want. I don't know exactly what we want, but uh, maybe we, sh we could crease it a little here. Actually, the pinch is. Do we have a pinch here? Pinch. There we go. Like that's a little bit more useful for creasing. Bring that in. Go back to clay. Smooth some of this out a little bit. Okay, so let's say we like that better. It's not a huge change, kind of subtle, but you know, it looks a little better. Uh, and notice we just sculpted that directly on top of this other shape key. And the sculpt tools behave as if this is just the state of the mesh, whatever state the mesh is in uh, with the armature deforms and other shape keys, that's what you're sculpting on. And so the, the tools behave exactly as you would, as you would expect. So now we have this transition like that. Oh, that doesn't look too bad. Oh, perhaps we should uh, key this there as well. Value zero. There we go. That actually looks pretty good. No, I mean, not good, good, but you can see how this is really useful. It's a handy way to, you can just keep on tossing in more corrective shape keys, hooking them up to different poses and just sculpting them right there, uh, which is extremely handy, <laughs> extremely handy. Uh, I'm gonna demonstrate something just a little, something else uh, to kind of show how this is working. Um, so if we take, if we take this shape key, we're just gonna add in some some bumps for no reason. Just some bumps. And then we go to this shape key. And we'll just smooth those out on this shape key. You can see if we remove this shape key now, now they kind of go inwards because shape keys are additive, but the way the shape keys are behaving isn't any different. It's just that you can use the sculpt tools to create them. So it's this, ah, anyway, this this would have made my life so much easier <laughs> on Sintel and Big Buck Bunny. And, ah, man, this this just makes my day. It's gonna be so easy to just go in and, and create corrective shape keys to make the deformations right. And of course, you want the, the weighting to, the armature weighting to be, you know, as, as close to perfect as possible, but there's only so far you can get with that. So this is a great way to go in afterwards and, you know, put in, you know, elbow bumps and, you know, just little bulges and things and creases. And it's just, ah, this is going to be so nice. I just wanted to share it. I'm really excited about it. Yeah, this is, this is fun. Woohoo!